Remember, we have to avoid waking Raziel. Bingo. It's similar to a picture in a book I once read about Odysseus. Can't place it though. Parchment. Something written on it. Looks new. Halt, ring bearer. Know this. To enter, you must speak unto me the words of passing. The warning is given. Guardian, the word of passing is spirit. Open to me. Etched star. Topmost points colored red. Must be a clue. Exquisite. Maybe there's a reason for it.
Look at the colors in this. They're the rainbow colors, aren't they? There's a great power here. I have a strong feeling that gem is the focus. It's calling to you. I think you must have something it needs. So, the ring is now complete. Much. successfully completed the trials. The key of tears is yours. Key of Tears. Well, we've got the Key of Tears. Now what? Rescue Hawk. Thank you. 
Oh, God. Combine the face with the soul traveler. Combine the face with the soul traveler. Become as one to walk the tower. Come, look there, above the mount, the legions of darkness have come to me, to me, rally to the banner! Doesn't appear to be working.
the well-named Key of Tears. Let's hope Hawk's all he says he is. Restore the balance. I assume you're Hawk. I am Hawk. What will it be? I thought you might have the answers. They are closer to you than most. Perhaps you can give us some? Ask that I may answer. Hawk. Who is Alf? He's offered us much help since we've arrived. Alf is only one of his names. He is a product of the Soul Stone, the force controlling the universe. Metaphorically speaking, if the Soul Stone is the lock, then Alf's sword is the key. It's part of the Shrine. Events and certain prophecies have been falsified. That is why Alf is here, to put the fate of mankind's future back on course. What about the Falshar Knights? He said he was the last of their order. Indeed he is. The very last in the most noble line of avatars to swear their soul to the light on the day of creation and defend the soul stone from the very evil we face. The order finally fell to an army of darkness led by a young mortal called Florentine and the demon of lies. Demon of lies? Belial. Belial. Who is he, Hawk? Belial is one of the great lords of hell. In many earthly texts, he has even been confused with the power of Satan. His name literally means liar. He is Florentine shade. He's doppelganger, if you like. Conceived from the soul stone and born from the evil within Florentine's soul. Florentine. What about his part in all of this? His role is to see that the power of Satan is manifested physically into the new host. My antithesis. Gaul. Indeed, Gaul. The spirit of my father is held here somewhere. How can I free his soul from torment? The answer to that question is simple. The balance, the power of the soul stone, must be redressed. The solution is, however, a difficult task. The fate of your father and that of mankind is a shared one. So what about Florentine? Florentine lost his soul long ago in return for his assistance with the destruction of the seven seals that guard the soul stone. He did it to deliver the world into the hands of Satan. He has robbed, murdered, and tortured for most of the last millennium. He is immortal for as long as Belial lives within this world. 
So that son of a bitch and Belial are working together? Not any longer. They may have the same goal, but they are now enemies, vying for the attentions of their dark master. Both hope to be Satan's guide if he ever returns in the new host. New host? The host of all evil. Gaul. What can you tell us about Gaul? Gaul and I are products of the Soul Stone. As his body is prepared as host for the force of darkness, so is mine for the power of light. We've seen Gaul. He took a small green crystal from an altar stone. Like this? Yes, exactly. It's a shard of the Soul Stone. One of many broken and lost throughout time and reality. The only substance that grants entry from the tower into the realm of Shore. The infernal place that guards the area where the Soul Stone lies. If we are to redress the balance, we should find one. Two. One each for travelling to the realm of Shore. Who are you, Hawk? What are you? A product of the Soul Stone. A vessel born of time to become a host for the power of light. The complete antithesis of Gaul. So you and Gaul are enemies, right? We are of the same substance, but conceived to be enemies. Within the tower, we've met a man who calls himself Raphael. Place in him the same trust you place in Alf, for it can be said that they are of the same blood. I notice some resemblance. Are you saying that they're related? Related, no. Of the same blood, yes. We have our own ideas, but for the record, what part does the Temple of the Morning Star play in all of this? The Temple is a thing of man, born of Florentine. Its purpose is to see the power of light thrown down, the force of evil walk the earth. We've heard of Shoal. Sounds like a dangerous place. Some call it Hell. Organa. The seven terrible layers of fire and darkness. Shoal is only the topmost layer of Hell. The lowest being the Pit. It is within the place you call Shoal that the Soul Stone lies. Hawk, what do you know of Aqua? Aqua, the realm of divinity, and therein lies the Garden of Paradise. Many other wonders to be found there, the greatest of all being the Tree of Understanding. Tree of... Mm. Your ancestral mother and father ate of it, and unto them was given the power to see both good and evil, the power of choice. Raphael told us of the tower. Can you tell us anything more substantial? It is his place. I cannot tell you more than he. Hawk, what are these? They were given to me by Florentine. He was disguised as a priest. There's something in them, some sort of power, I think. Adam, these are the broken seals of the Soul Stone. You have within your hands six of the seven seals that bind the universe together. When the last is broken, the world will be plunged into darkness. If this happens, Gaul will become host to the power of all darkness, and mankind will be doomed. The Shrive. Seems to be a pivotal point to everything. It is part of the sword eternal that was taken from the soul stone by Florentine. Tell me, Adam, have you some sort of mark upon you? Some device similar to the shroud? You mean these damn things? I do. You are the one. 
The one what? The one to take up the sword eternal. I thought you'd say something like that. Can you tell us more about the Soul Stone? The Soul Stone is the neutrality of the universe. The channel from man's thoughts from which all that is good and evil is filtered. Sometimes thoughts can be so vile and evil that a minion is created as the embodiment of that mind. Friends, my time here is at an end. But before I depart, know this. Adam, you have been marked as the Shrive Bearer. Only you can wield eternity now. None other. You must locate the sword. Come to me, Rebecca. Where does eternity lie? I mean, it could be anywhere. If it was taken from the Soul Stone by Florentine, then it would soon become lost to him. Find it then where its master dwells. Find the place where Michael rules, and there it shall be. Find it, and take it to the Soul Stone. Fair be well. go to. Aqua, Realm of the Divine. What was all that about? Hawk imparted my mind with some information that he thought might be useful to us. That's all? That's all. Well, we still got a problem. We have to find a talisman or a device of some sort to get us to Aqua. Like Al Stagger got us to Raquel. Well, we'd better check the stuff we found on the way if there's nothing there. Let's just hope we're lucky. <laughs> 